I'm praising to this high As we offer As we offer To the the tenth time you will not deny what you're saying you will not be able to say you didn't see it whether you're watching on the screen or you're in the hall you will not be able to deny what you're saying can we worship him for giving us life Adoni le negu Nase
unto the altar of Yahweh. Zombrin Sopredu of praise. Santo Mario Chaprona, that no variableness to you who is the father of all light, we worship you. Anzo Mesu Grace, Yambra Sanayandro. Suma Presea la Rosa Vanaza Brado. Sosa Frana Jaraho. Javrano Siana Zaya Sando Maraya. Seprado. Secret places. I'm going to share it in 10 minutes. 
before I go into my teaching the hidden riches of secret blessings the eighth is not merciful let me say to somebody the eighth is not merciful life is not merciful that, that is why you don't need to joke because the eighth doesn't want to show you mercy Life doesn't want to show you mercy. So don't even behave that in your behavior. It is not mercy that rule on earth. The earth is a wicked place. It's a jungle. buried in shallow graves and Americans are selling weapons that's what I want to share this night I, I say the people are dying and what Americans want to get from it is selling you know we're selling weapons you were there it is Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan they know that Taiwan is under Russia they gave Taiwan a private visit and left so that they will say weapons. <laughs> I don't want why. I don't want why. Catch, catch, catch a rigid weapons. And then you came to church to feel emotional. You came here to feel to pity yourself. Who, who cares about what you're feeling? That's a joke. That feeling is a joke. I want you to pray because you see, I'm going to shout three times. I want you to pray and say, Lord, thank you for blessing me from the abundance of your word. Thank you, Lord, because you've answered our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. 45 of the book of Isaiah verse 1 the hidden riches of secret places before as I get ready to shoot it I would like you to, to hear me tell you that God hide things that God do what he hide things that are important to him and whatever that is important to God whatever that is hidden people should pay pay I want you to know that the word pay is technical. People pay. People pay to assess something that is hidden. And I would like you to know that God
God believes he has blessed you if he reveals to you something that is hidden and each time you assess something that is hidden it means you have lost something you might not know what you lost but anytime you assess something that is hidden it means you have lost something Thank you, Kennedy. Anytime a special revelation comes to you, yeah, it means you have lost something. I say it means that you... Now, it is not good to lose something without knowing you've lost it. I would like you to hear me. It is not possible for God to share something that is important to him with a man if that man didn't lose something. the value we have in God is the value of our secrets. There is something God will never part away with. God will never part away with revelation because he represents his economy. Let me say again. I say God will never part away with the revelation because the revelation represents his economy. Please pay attention. If you look at chapter 5 of the book of Revelation, chapter verse 4, the Bible says, when that book was not opened, John started crying. Please, I would like you to look up. John went to heaven and started crying. I pray for God to help somebody to understand because I'm about to say some things. I am going to share three times. And this month, this morning, this morning market is only one month. I finished, I had a meeting here on Friday night and I got home and Chukuma came to my office, came to my house and sat down till, four in the, till five in the morning. And, I, and the, the angel of my life told me in the bedroom when I was bathing to come that I should not forget that he came. A month ago. I, I would like you to know that poverty is not a destiny. It's an evil. Let me say it again. I say poverty is not a destiny. It's a great evil that prepares men for death. Poverty is not a destiny. It is a devaluation that makes a man not to trust in God and in himself. Poverty is not a destiny. It's a shame. A poor man does not have God. Excuse me. Let, let me ask you to listen. I'm about to be philosophical very deeply. The problem of God on earth is not seen. It has never been seen. It will never be seen. Now the problem of God on earth with man is blindness. That is the inability of man to see. Ah, If he's seen, Jesus has paid. Now why has he paid and people are still less than themselves? Excuse me. You want to make a young man rich. After witchcraft have damaged his understanding. How can somebody who cannot connect to light be rich? Do you know that some people feel pity to poverty? They say after everybody, everybody cannot be rich. You see, because they are see, they are thinking that being in charge of themselves is an option. Being in charge of yourself is not an option. Because the man God created has four rivers in his own image and has a golden land. Four rivers in a small garden. And the Bible said the good of that land is a good land. So God cannot be represented in, in devaluation. Don't you know that poor people don't have confidence?
And is there any evil more than that? Don't you know that poverty can make a man sick? Don't you know that poverty can make a man to eat trash? Don't you know that poverty can bring anxiety into somebody's life and cause him high blood pressure? That means that poverty is an agent of death. There cannot be immortality in the midst of poverty. going to keep on bringing it. You see, because I will curse it. I will curse it. I will curse it. Can I be bold in sending you something? Huh? Why you should believe in miracle is that when there is a miracle and God will step you up, your ability to believe increases. Your ability to believe increases. And then you will become like God. Because somebody who don't have confidence can represent God. And if people keep on lacking what they need, they will lose confidence. They will lose confidence in God and in themselves and that will be not your portion. Now in chapter 5, 1 and 2 of Revelation, I am I'm taking this course for a short time. In chapter 5, 1 and 2 of the book of Revelation. Excuse me. Can you look up? I'm not here to do preaching. Forget it. Remember that my first course is the first 1,000 riches men. I will tell you a secret today. And hear me. There is no person. There is no human being that will be part of the last move of God on earth. If he doesn't understand it. Chapter 5. I would like you. I am not reading so many scriptures. So when they, they bring on the screen, I will do pointing. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat upon the throne a, a book. book a, wait. A book. I saw in the right hand of him that sat upon the throne a book. What connection has book to do with throne? If book is a joke. If, if, if book is a joke, why will God be carrying book? And somebody on earth want to be important on earth without book. If God is carrying book, how can you meet him without book? How can you meet? You can't meet him. So the Bible says, there was writing on the book. Can you go on? See with seven seals. Written within and on the back side. Verse number two. I'm not preaching on it. Keep and reading. I, and I saw a strong angel. Proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book? And to look the seals thereof. Excuse me. The angel started saying, who will help us to know what is in the book? You see, because what is in that book? What is in that book is a treasure. He said, who will help us? Because you cannot know what is in that book until you open it. Let me say to somebody who have ability to hear two times that the greatest enemy of man on earth is the spirit of witchcraft that saps his intelligence and if battle is not fought against darkness then we are wasting time why why is africa backward in case you don't know the Jews 
rule. The Jews rule the world through book. Because the God of, a, of the Jews is a book carrier. It's a book carrying God. That is not even my message because I'm not sitting on a book. But I'm going, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm talking about hidden. Because the duplicity from of treasure, treasure, treasures are hidden. If you look up here, I'll give you a gift. There are some people when I see them, when they are playing with something that I almost, I almost lost my life to get, I will pity their ignorance. Something I, I almost lost my life. When we are coming now, I told the boys in the car, I said, how many times will I tell you that you should ask me questions? You don't want to ask? You don't want to ask me how I came from 19A Wari Road, not even 1B Enugu Road, to this place. Into six years of movement. You don't want to ask me why I'm not tired this night. So if I'm be preaching for 29 years and I'm not tired, you can't ask me a question. When I was in one room there, there were some people were saying, don't mind him. They will sell their houses. I'm not in a hurry. Because the guardian angel of this altar it has evening glory. So he's a patient angel. He's an angel that the Uas is made in wisdom. So you don't, don't hurry him up. You know wisdom is patient. And because the glory of the place is an evening. So, so I, when he told me it's an evening glory, so I now do a lot of waiting. You know, but why I wait, like I was waiting yesterday, I sat down there for about 10 hours. I wait to ask questions there on the table. It, it was there that I, when I lie down on the floor, no, the first time I lie on the chair, the second time I lie on the floor. When I lie on the floor, I met a woman. I met a woman that is dead. I met her in a part of the grave. And we started talking yesterday afternoon. Then I know there is shame in death. There is no, there is shame. Ah, uh, you, 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 you don't go to grave from glory. They will strip a man. Of glory before he dies. Let me say again. I said, nobody go to grave with glory. A man have to lose glory confidence before he dies. So the path that leads to grave doesn't have honor. And in case you don't know. I have never met a, a I've never met a married woman who is dead who is in the path of the grave with her husband. In case you don't know. That woman I met is not is married, but she's not on that journey with her husband. I didn't meet her with anybody. I didn't meet her with her children. Open your ears up. Do you know why? The process that leads people to death is personal. I say the process that leads people to death is a personal process. And the, the journey to the grave is a personal journey. The barrier, the grave does not contain two people. The 
that's why even when you're married be very careful with yourself don't destroy your life for your children because when a baby come out of your womb she has her own life now John said in verse 3 verse 3 no man in heaven nor on in it neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon no, this is what brought me to the, to the place verse number 4 and I wept and much. I wept much. Why was John weeping? John was weeping because if the secret in that book is not opened, there will be a problem. Some of us that are hearing me, the secret of your life has not been opened. Secret. The secret of your wealth the secret of your glory is not yet open because you refuse to pay. John wept much. I'm going to get away from it because I'm not preaching on it. Verse 6. I want to show you how the price was paid. And behold, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders stood a lamb that it has been slain. That means somebody lost his life to know. You can't get it. And if somebody lost his life to know, you are a pastor, you are shouting that God should bless ignorant people. You are telling God that God should bless people the way they are. In verse 7 and 8, 7 and 8 of that same book, and he came and took the book because he has been slain. Out of the right hand of him that is upon the throne, number eight, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. And having every one of them halves and golden pearls full of water, which are that's of sin. The prayers of and the number nine, the song, the song, a new song, saying, Thou are worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof, for thou was slain and has redeemed all. Excuse me. Three things. He took the book. He was slain to redeem us. Each time God wants to move you forward, He make you He make you see something you have not seen before. Prosperity is not merciful. You don't get better through emotion. Crying was not necessary in heaven. Somebody have to die. Three of us are. Number eleven. You shall see. The travel of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge, by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify men. The, now, the word by knowledge shall my righteous servant declare people guiltless. That means there are certain rescue operations a man 
cannot accomplish except he has certain knowledge chapter 10 of revelation from 1 can you look up I grew up in the village there are families that they say we've been suffering and one of our sons now he has gotten money he came to the village and built one story building they've not changed building one story building in the village is not changed house doesn't change a man I will tell you what changed a man that's what I'm already saying those people built one story building excuse me buildings can be sold when it is built when darkness remains in the house of the in the heart of the builder let me say again i say buildings can be sold a lot of buildings in lagos and in nigeria are for sale they will be sold they will they will be sold don't forget that some some things are in the hand of people that can't keep them a lot of things are in the hand of people that don't deserve them now if they are in the hand of those people it means that they, those things are temporal even life a lot of people are alive but they are not worthy to live let me say it again I say a lot of people but they are now if they are alive and not worthy to live they will be left with no other option than to lose their life a, a lot of people are in big offices they will lose their offices to somebody else so getting something is not as important as preserving it and God does not preserve what we have. We have to have the quality that can preserve things. Chapter 10 of the book of Revelation. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and the rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as to hear the sun and his feet as pillar of fire. Number two, and he had in his hand a little book open, and he set it upon his foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth. And he cried with a loud, loud voice, and when a, as when a lion roared it, and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Now the the angel came, put. I, I was sharing with somebody yesterday. I said, "Don't trifle with an angel that his the leg is on the land." And the land is not enough for him. Huh? That angel's leg is on the ground. On the land. And the land is not enough for him. Because of his nature. The nature of that book carrying angel. The land is not enough for that angel. So he put his leg on the sea. Huh? Huh? And the sea is not yet enough for him. So he lifted his hand to heaven. leg on the land the whole eight nigeria america mentioned it germany russia britain all the powerful nations japan africa middle east far east everywhere the whole land mountains big forest india china wasn't enough he put on the sea it wasn't enough he raised his hand to heaven and then start swearing and the power of that angel is in book something is hidden in the book for dominion the power that will give a man dominion is in the book and it's a hidden power now people have to pay to assess hidden powers 
I'm going to share, share the richest, 10 richest men. I mean, 1,000 richest men is there feeding them. Hear me. They have to eat the right meal to be billionaires. I said they have to eat. Huh? Can you look up? Let me help you with something. Please. Let's not. We have done it before. And that's the nature of the church. God should not be insulted by cajoling him to bless people who are not worthy of blessing. Nobody should think of making God look stupid. Isaiah chapter 45, 1, 2, 3. Thus said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I'm holding, to subdue nations before him. And I will loosen the loins of king to open before him the two leaf gates, and, and the gates gate. shall not be shut. Go ahead. I will and I will go before thee and make crooked places straight and that way. Breaking pieces, the gate of brass. And cutting sun at the bars of ice. Number three. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. The, the hidden riches. Of secret places. Now, when I was young, when I was young, I used to think that the treasures of darkness is money. Let me make this statement. I, I will read it later when I start sharing on feeding. Joseph came to Pharaoh from prison but he, 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 he had something he had something Joseph it, it was on the, on the main road that Joseph changed his cloth It was on the main road that they removed the prisoner's cloth from Joseph and took him to a Baba saloon. It was on the main road. Where? But may God of eternity bless you to hear me tell you that Joseph had something. And what Joseph had was money. Joseph didn't have money. Joseph had something that was more important than money. I said it. Ah. He, he, he was incarcerated. As he was. He was incarcerated. He couldn't remain in the prison. Because light can't be incarcerated. Just like you don't bury light. When it was time, they brought him out. When. It was there in the destiny of Joseph to be brought out. At that time, he had destiny to be brought out. If you are a young girl and you understand who you are and you live the life of who you are and you can see who you are and a stupid man who is not worthy of who you are is coming to you you will not tell your pastor to pray. If you tell the man to pray, then you can't see yourself. come together except they look alike 
So, if you know who you are, would you know when somebody that looks like you has come? Or should people who don't look like themselves live in one house? Somebody said, I love him. I said, you're lost. Something that has value and something that is valueless cannot connect. Love who? Some of us that are here, our parents and our background have already offended us. I'm not in that because we're not, we not aware they are still offending us. Somebody created a problem and then now I want to make you a minor messiah. I said somebody created a problem. I want to make somebody a minor messiah. You just come to your emotion and say, we don't have any other person except you. And then the spirit of Messianism can come up come in, your, in your spirit. <laughs> and I want to solve a problem that is not for you. <laughs> Become a minor. <laughs> just for trap. Because what kept the family down? They want to pass it to you. So people who are already incarcerated want to take you to Chen, to the same prison. Uh, that's, that's where I came from. I know when they want to do it to me. I know when they are trying to put a problem to me to lose my life. And I've never solved one. Because if I have to help them, I have to be ready to help them. And in case you don't know, problems don't end from people who are not aware. They don't, they don't stop having problems. Can you look at that? Can you look at number, number three there? Or, or have I got the scripture? I'll give you treasures of I'll give thee the treasures of darkness. Hidden riches of secret places. The Jews knows. The Jews knows huh, that it is man. It is the value of man that control the earth resources. Let me say again. I say it is that control the, that control the earth resources. So what they do is to produce men of value. If you're a mother, there is a kind of a child where you give birth to that child. Huh? Problems with that. Uh, um, let me connect back to that story. And I'm going to stop with it on emphasis when they brought Joseph out Joseph didn't have money but Joseph had something that is more important than money so what he had brought him to the palace he didn't have good clothes no it wasn't good clothes he had he didn't have a good car. He didn't even bow. He changed his clothes on the way. But there is something that can't be removed from Joseph. Every day I will be shouting this thing. 
It is not things I have that made me shepherd. It's not things. I have not always have things. I don't believe in things. If the number of people in this hall still reduced by two, I will still preach. If you don't treasure knowledge, will I force you? But don't forget that whichever one you choose, you will stay here to reap the consequences. That's my confidence. In Psalm 1, 105, the Bible says, they lose Joseph from, from chain. They lose him from chain. And then, I will take you to 45 in Genesis, then I will stop. I will read Psalm 105 and 45 of Genesis, then I will stop. He said, they, they lose him. That means, if you are here, you are a young girl, there is a quality you will have. When it is time for you to marry, the man that is meant for the quality will trace you for that quality. If you have identified it and developed it, seed is what God gives to us as a gift. Developing the seed is the gift we give to God. I say gift is what gift of seed is what God gives to us. Development of that seed Ah, is what we give back to God. There are people that all the days of their life, they have not paid attention to develop the seed in them. Now, something that is at the raw state can rule. Something that is at the raw state not no can rule Psalm 105 this is what I'm teaching now I didn't plan it I didn't get ready for it what about if I didn't know these scriptures before this night some of these scriptures I'm quoting I've known it for more than 30 something years Verse 17, and he sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for his servant. For his servant. 18. Whose feet was hot with fetters. He was laid in iron. They sent a man. They hurt his feet. The story didn't end. They sold him for a servant. The story didn't end. I don't care where you are. I don't care where you are. Maybe you're still here. Maybe they're still hurting you. That story has not ended though. Or maybe they still sold it to a slave or you lack what you need. The story hasn't still ended. Now the Bible said, until, until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. Then, oh hallelujah. Can you bring 20 please? Then the king sent and lose him. Joseph cannot have those quality without being loose. That value that Joseph had can't be permanently ignored. There are certain 
qualities you don't ignore permanently that quality can't be permanently ignored because there, there is there is the time of every rich value will come the time the time the time for all who are making notes who has been making notes since now, since Monday the time of those who are making notes of that thing you are writing the time for use of that thing will come the time of the pain you are going through for the reward will come but while you are making notes be very careful about what you are seeing because that is what will bring you out the bible excuse me Joseph didn't beg the king. Joseph didn't beg the king to bring him out. No, he, he was in prison. But the, but the guy, Joseph, has irreplaceable qualities. He was a dreamer. And uh, that's not my real message. <laughs> the dream pattern in his life. Tomorrow is Saturday. I will still, I will still sit down here 10 hours. I mean today. I said I will still, I will still sit down here 10 hours. I doing Saturday. Even if I didn't sit in church, if I if, when I used to be at home, it's still sitting and sit there. Don't do anything. It's still 10 hours I sit down there. <laughs> it's, a, it's something. There was no program last week Saturday, but I was sat down there. I still sat down there like 10 hours. So if I didn't sit down here, I would go and sit at home. I want to show you something that happened. 45 of Genesis. Somebody said, nobody's helping me. That's a lost life. That's a lost life. Do you really need help? That way? Help you like how? How can somebody help you enough? How can help come from outside enough? How can you have immortality through that which is impossible? Has uh, the person finished helping himself? There's something that they, they say to Joseph. The people say to Joseph, said now, or, okay, or Joseph said to them, verse 23, just one verse. I'll come back to it later. 47, 47, 23 of the book of Genesis, not 45. And then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day and your land for Pharaoh. Somebody came into the land of Egypt as a slave and stayed in that slave. May God, may the Holy Ghost help somebody to understand what I'm saying. And stayed in that land until that same Joseph that came as a slave bought the land and then bought the people. What, what, what brought me to the story is that did he really buy them with money? He bought them with something that is superior to money. Don't forget. I, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something you've never had before. I want to tell you something you've never had before. You've never had what I'm about to tell you now. I have been in heaven many times. There is no rich man that came to heaven that God honored. Why? Because money is not useful in heaven. So, money is not quality for honor in heaven. I, 
you, you didn't see excuse me Jesus built Jesus built a kingdom in heaven he, he came from Galilee and built a kingdom excuse me let me ask you for something did Jesus build the kingdom of heaven with money the, the apostles that made the two foundations and the tribes were the rich men if the owner of heaven is not really a rich man huh? because but what he has is superior to money and then the people that formed the cabinet of heaven were not rich men we should find out what they have and uh, what they have is the only thing I'm after nothing they have excuse me if if this thing you, this building you see here we have eternal honor before God huh? talking about money in it is corruption something that is more important than money is what will be used to build this building then it will have honor before the Lord that is why listen I'm not going to try to worry anybody about building this building we bring disgrace to me I already know it I prefer to bleed and faint there there are sometimes you use in building eternal things let me say I said there are sometimes you use in building eternal things uh, when I was making the second course yesterday on chapter 7 on the gain of transformation I, was, I wrote on transformation is a mystery uh, I will write and write again to, but to page 4 I, don't, I won't have anything to go and write to write. I'll go and lie down. I start worrying my brain. I start speaking in tongue. I will get off from there. I'll go and write one page. I, I won't see any other thing. I'll go and lie down again. I start talking in tongue. I was putting pressure on myself continuously until that paper, that paper, that paper came to 10 pages. Which one are we talking about? God will never commit the destiny of the earth to money. It's impossible. But let me say it this way. The quality you have must be able to attract money. If that quality is higher than money. <laughs> Someone have gotten it. I said, if that quality is higher than money, it must have ability to attract it. Joseph didn't come with money. Huh? But he came with something that is higher than money. Then money answered to that thing. Up to the level, I am going to write chapter 1, ch chapter Another, I'm going to write two chapters of a book in soul selling and unlocking your soul. Joseph depended on vision to buy souls. I want to read that scripture again before I go away. But before I read it, I want to show you something he used in buying and then show you what he bought, then I'll go out. What he used in buying and what he bought. There is one friend I've never, I've not, there is one friend I've never kept. And I will never keep. In 29 years of me preaching, I have made notorious Igbo rich men. None of them, none of them survived around me. Not one. And none of them will survive. As long as they have money and they're notorious. That is what notorious is, is. Money becomes everything to them. I, I don't want to pass.
pastor somebody who money is everything to it's impossible it will never happen money is everything to somebody you suppress people in the church in what way have I suppressed anybody I go to my office and I go there and sit down and there's no noise there is no noise Forty-five seven of Genesis. Somebody said, "It's like you don't know me." I said, "Know you how? How? If you are great, you don't need to introduce yourself." Forty-five or seven of the book of Genesis. And God sent me before you to preserve your posterity in the earth and to save your life. We get, what did he use? That seven of the book of Genesis, he used dream. Money can't buy dream. Money does not have immortality. I have met so many dead men in the graves. Nobody talks about money there. We don't remember them for money, remember them for vision. Like some young pastor, they'll be talking about anointing, anointing, anointing. Even anointing is not even remembered in the grave. What is remembered in the grave is vision. Vision. Which anointing? Uh, what concern God with someone who is getting sick? Is it God's business to be healing people? It's immortality. Two candles sticks are standing before the Lord. For the seven to the three, he had dream in that seven, and then in for seven he bought. We've read it just one more reading. I said, if you have quality that is higher than money, then that quality we attract. We attract money. I don't want to part away with value that made Joseph second in command in Egypt. Give Jesus a throne. Made David the king in Israel. That's what I will live for. All the days of my life, all the days of my life, I will not be comfortable. All the days of my life, I will not have one problem with anybody, with money, with anybody. It is it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The money you don't know I have, I'm already bringing it out for this building. I'll keep bringing it. You don't know. I get it from anywhere. I get it. Whether I get it from book, I have people show it to me. I will bring it. You wouldn't know that I have it. You will see it coming out when the building is going on. When that building is rising, you will know I have it. Now, those who who believe in that dream, they show to it. And then we wouldn't worry about, we wouldn't worry those who don't believe. And if you believe, then I wouldn't worry about so you see it. When you see a road going on, you know that there will be need for wood to, to box the pill and then cast. Must I tell you? And then I don't want people who don't have that money to feel, him, to feel inferior. Because your time will still come. I say your time. We still come. No time we come. If he hasn't come, then you're still part of us. We love you. Don't forget that I told God by covenant that after buying 18 plus of land, that I will never kneel down anywhere to ask him for land, and I will never kneel down anywhere to ask him for money. And I will not. So I don't pray for money anymore. I don't pray for land. I will get money and land when I get the first thing. Let me say again. I say I will get money and land when I get the first thing. 
my time will come uh, but listen I am not going to be tired in this altar until 4 I will not say nonsense on, on this altar I will not say nonsense on this altar this night I'm not going to feel sleepy on this altar this night because I know my grace everybody that should go up should know his grace I know the chariot that should carry me to where I'm going and the strength is one of the is what is part of the quality of that chariot strength is one of the quality one of the demand of my angel strength so do you know one of the demand of your angel strength is one of the demand intelligence is one focus is one the prophetic in dimensions so in chapter 21 king of the earth brought treasure to something they don't have if it's money that is used in building new jerusalem that is new jerusalem the king of the earth will not bring money to it if the value of that city is a money value because the city is built on something superior to money ordinary people ah excuse me it is ordinary people that are rich I say, ah, it is ordinary people that are rich. Ah, does it, excuse me, it doesn't take anything to be rich. It doesn't take anything. Ah, it doesn't take anything to open a shop and the customer is buying, buying things. You need to go to school. I said, it is ordinary people that are rich. All these people do this, you see, across the mirror, they are owned by idiots. Somebody say idiots. All these buildings you see everywhere. <laughs> you know, even they will be going down with their big cars, but they are still. They're still idiots. That's why you will see their shape. You see their shape. When they come out, they'll be so shapeless. Because they're idiots. Something is called having shape. A building. A building that gives testimony of what you ate. <laughs> Have your way. You will have your way. Have your I can't worry. Have your way. 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 and I loved my shop. So that angel asked me, say, how old are you? I said, I'm 23. He, 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 he said to me, say, remove, remove 10 years. 
just said that you are 13. I said I'm 13. I made a mistake. I'm just 13 years. Then I, I, I look at myself and I took the nature of a 13 year old boy. I look at myself and then the health, the health, the vigor of a 13 year old boy came into my body because there is power in spoken word. I started worshiping. I am about to start dancing because of something I'm about to say this night. There is something in this paper. It, it, you know, it, you know, it will make angel. It, it will make angels envious. It will make angels envious. There is no date in Zion. There is no shame in Zion. There is no limitation in Zion. Zion is a city of the living God. I said there is no poverty in Zion. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. And whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Can you lift your hand and say, Lord, make me strong this night. Let me be invigorated. Wait. Wait. I, I, I mentioned just thinking Anko. Uh, the, the beautiful girl that used to give me food when I was young. Yesterday in the afternoon, she came to my office. I said, I asked her, how did you, how, how? You know, I, we were taking, you know how it is. I met her on the main road. I was going somewhere and she was coming. You know, that's the way she is. She's so beautiful and um, unassuming. She's an unassuming girl. And uh, if you want, if you want her to talk, you should, you should get ready to listen, because she doesn't rush. Word. That's how she is. If everybody's talking, she won't talk. If you want her to talk, ah, huh? you will give her time, and then make her know that you want to listen. Then she will talk. She's that way. So what I saw, I said, Auntie, ah, where are you coming from? He said, ah, ah. He was happy. And he said, Where am I going to? I said, ah, I'm just around the church. He said, Where is the church? I said, yeah. He said, Can I take her? Suddenly, two of us who came to the office started talking. She was alone. No, her husband wasn't there. The, the child that God used me to give her wasn't there. She was just wearing one booba up and down and she used it to tie her hair. She was not satisfied because she's not happy that she died. Don't allow anybody to comfort you around it. Death is an enemy. And I want to tell you, death comes from cause and effect. That means if you didn't do what should make you die, you will not die. So when I got off from there, the Lord said to me, do you see, you saw her say, yeah? when, I, when I got through with her, he said, it is because you talked about her and then you connected to her. I am going to make you connect. I am going to make you connect to values here in this meeting. I am going to bring those values from God, then connect you to it. Not only connect you, connect your loins. 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 Normally, I used to sleep before I come to this program. I woke up, go and bath, and start coming. I've been, I've been waiting for this program since 10 in the house. I've been praying since 10. Since before 10.
Because I go home early. The moment I just nap about 90 minutes, I started praying. So I know that tonight is a different night. Rains are opening. It has opened. I'm about to open more. There is a secret you will boast about. Not here only. But in eternity, I'm about to reveal to you. The secret behind the raising of the most important people on earth. Anybody that must know it, must know it from you. So you're going to pray to prayer. You're going to say, Lord, you're going to invigorate me. Give me energy in my inner man this night. So that I can stay awake in my spirit. To connect. Can I hear you? You need to, you need to stay awake in your spirit to connect. Stay awake in your spirit. Oboro odoro dara ya pratonasha. Reka prosa. Satoria kapata. Zianoro protobanda. May God make this night peculiar. 